coronavirus is a class of viruses. There have been seven different ones now with this new one out of China that have been known to infect humans. Uh, I want to make the point that coronaviruses are the common cause of the common cold. What's different is mutations that allowed these to, for example, become SARS, MERS, and now this novel coronavirus. What's different as opposed to any other time in past human history is that this was picked up very quickly. The virus was sequenced very uh, quickly. And kudos to uh, the Chinese scientists who put it into gene banks so that we could get access to it, begin to develop vaccines and antivirals, and we know what to do. These simple respiratory precautions work. The one ringer in all of this is that the Chinese New Year is about to start, and an estimated hundreds of millions of Chinese travelers will travel around the world. And, you know, in that time since SARS, the amount of train traffic out of uh, China has doubled, the amount of airline traffic has gone up sixfold. So, you know, there's some concern there, but I think our CDC has prepared us well. There are actually a number of companies that have been working on a coronavirus over the last uh, handful of years after SARS and MERS, and they're taking multiple approaches. One is a live vaccine, one's a nanoparticle vaccine, one is what's called mRNA technology. Um, so a number of approaches that are, that are being tested uh, in very early stages. We will not, however, have a vaccine that will be used widespread in humans for probably several years. I think that we should be knowledgeable, but not overly concerned. This is not somebody who has transmitted it within the U.S. This is somebody who traveled from the epicenter of the outbreak to the U.S. So we know there's an incubation period involved. Standard precautions that we talk about with influenza are the exact same precautions here. Wash your hands frequently, keep them off your face, stay away from people who are ill.